Next um, assignment is going to be um, storyboarding. But it's going to be fun storyboarding. <laughs> so, um, can you see this? I just, yeah, you can see this, right? Uh, the juxtaposition. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, yeah, sorry. I can see now. <laughs> I can see it, yeah. Um, so, you, I've shown this to you guys before, but I wanted to show it to you again. Um, it is probably one of the most brilliant storyboards in live action history. Um, and it was done by, um, uh, I can't remember his name now, but he's one of the greatest designers, Sal Bass, one of the greatest designers for Hitchcock, for the shower scene um, in, uh, yeah. So the, the fantastic thing about this, if you see um, the very first shot, is, um, can you see my mouse, by the way? Oh, I can't even see my mouse, okay. The very first shot up on the top left-hand corner, um, the composition is primarily vertical, right? And then going down, it reads top to down. You see it goes diagonally, and then the diagonal crosses and crisscrosses, and that's what gets the feeling of tension up. Um, it, it's the composition that's adding to the emotional reaction of the audience to the content. Um, so this composition thing is so important. Um, if we look at this one, you can see there's a really clear difference between the beginning, middle, and end. Um, the, the first third is um, very chaotic, excited, um, and then it goes into this open space, and then it becomes a primarily round composition. Um, and that in itself tells you what the this, this scene is about and the emotional impact of the scene. It adds to the emotional reaction to the audience. Um, so when I meet with art directors and they look at my storyboards, they're always looking at the, not the individual boards, but the entire scene. Because if that doesn't work, the boards mean nothing. The individual compositions mean nothing. Um, you can tell if it works or not just by looking at the, the, the storyboards as a whole. Is there a clear beginning, middle, and end? Um, so when I taught uh, advanced animation um, at CalArts you know, several years ago, um, this is one of the assignments I would do. I would take everybody into the library. I would give them this page of um i think it's 27 squares um and they would storyboard out a chase scene um so this is one of the results and i think it's incredibly successful um and he did it in like an hour and a half um it's really quick storyboard but it's extremely successful um and very powerful. So it starts out um, under vertical windows. So it's primarily a vertical um, composition and then goes into diagonal and then the di diagonals cross. Um, and then he, he emerges outside on the patio at night and it goes into this primarily horizontal. So, it's um, a place of respect with the verticals, um, chaos, energy, chase, and then a um, place of horizontal is quiet, quiet, safe, dark. Um, so it's three distinctive different compositions, not as clear as the last one where it's big open space, um, but it's, it works really well. Um, 
Yeah, so one of the things I had them do was actually live out the chase um, so that they start seeing things, what they look like when you run by them, <laughs> because they start distorting, especially when you're looking just with one eye. With two eyes, um, it kind of balances things, but with one eye, like a camera, um, things will start distorting if you go by them fast, if you like run by them. Um, so here's a close up and I want to make note that this is, this is really important. This is about composition. It's not about detail. Um, and if you focus on the composition and not on detail, this will go really fast and you'll have control of the, over the whole scene rather than just focusing on one good storyboard at a time. Just to remind you, it's all about dark and light. Um, all images are about the composition that is created by the dark and light. Uh, this is an assignment I also gave, um, usually a precursor to the storyboard assignment. And this is doing 50 compositions based on just three objects, uh, a teapot, a teacup, and a saucer. And with those three objects, and they're not real, they're just, you know, made up objects you, you, you know, you draw. But um, the idea is to, to just come up with any composition. And when you get down to like 40, you start running out of ideas. And it's just then when they start getting really interesting. <laughs> um, but this was a really good assignment because it really pushed you thinking about composition and it makes you realize that film is simply composition. It's the most fundamental thing about film, um, telling stories with composition. Um, here's a close up of the same thing. Um, so again, to be clear, uh, the, the top composition is horizontal, quiet, relaxed, everything's okay. <laughs> the bottom composition is a diagonal and it's saying something's happening, either um, inside one of the houses, someone's gonna run around the corner, some kind of dramatic tension is happening in the scene. Um, so those compositions are so important. Um, again, this I just want to show you to show you how important the dark and lights are. You really don't need a lot of detail to say a lot. Um, and, and this is just someone playing with compositions in their sketchbook. It's an illustrator who just explores possibilities of compositions. Um, so for this assignment, we're going to be doing one of these. <laughs> so, but instead of being a chase scene that starts in the library, this is gonna be a chase scene in your own home. Um, and I want it from, a different angle than um, your eye level. So it, it's maybe a mouse being chased by a cat or it's a fly that can go up and down, um, but it, it needs to start at one composition really clearly and then go to a chase with cross-hassing juxtaposition juxtaposition of, of, of diagonals and then land and you've got to decide if it's a good land or a bad land <laughs> or whatever the ending is needs to be a completely different composition. So in it, you should break it up into thirds. So what I've done is on my sketchbook, I've outlined, I have um, 21, seven by three, storyboards here um, 
And I'm going to start out by I'm going to start out just by giving myself a little clue. I want this to be start out horizontal, and then I'm going to do cross diagonals. Um, and then I think I'm starting to end it with, um, I think, big open space. So um, I'm thinking I want to do like a fly and maybe have it sitting somewhere in the house. And then it flies around the house um, and then out the window and into this open sky. You see what I mean? So. Um, Yeah, it should be um, over the shoulder of whoever is being chased. And um, you, you may never, you probably never see you chase it. It's, it's one continuous shot. You never cut. It's got to be one continuous camera move. Okay, does that make sense? And we're doing 50 of these? Um, I suggest like 27. 20, 21 to 27. Yeah. Do it. Um, like this is, I think, 11 by 14. And I was able to do two inches by three inches and get 21 on there, which is, was a nice size. Um, but here's the thing. This is the really important part. You do this from observation. It's not out of your head. And this is what's going to make it go fast. Um, you, you just decide where the thing is starting and, and draw the environment there. Then you move to the house and draw your diagonals. Um, and don't try to like fix up anything because <laughs> it, it's just about compositions, right? So what does it look like going through a door? Um, it's going to be bright in one room and dark in the other room. Um, depending on what time of day it is and what the lights are like. Uh, so if, does it go under the sofa um, so that you just have a creak of light there? Um, does it go through plants where there's like a lot of verticals or round leaves? Um, does, it, does it land on products with, with you know, graphic labels and you know that 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 become in the in the scene um yeah so uh keep it from life <laughs> absolutely from life that's exactly what's going to make it go fast <laughs>